Hey guys, Bony McBoneton here, and welcome to an interesting game that I found earlier called Darkness Within, A Pursuit of Loth Nolder. Now, I can't really tell what this is about, but I did find it in the horror game section, so let us jump in and find out. Uh, standard. Oh, let's see the others. Nah, let's go with standard. Men of broader intellect know that there is no sharp distinction betwixt the real and the unreal. They say that I am mad. They said the two locals found me in the morning, seven miles from the town of Windlaps. I was laughing and muttering meaningless gibberish to myself. I was cursing and arguing with myself. A raving madman with burning eyes, lost in the dark depths of his own merciful delirium. They say that I had been searching for a particular grave in the local cemeteries. They were right. If you knew whose grave it was, you would understand. So my behavior, which seemed abnormal, had nothing to do with madness. You must understand that. If you knew what had happened to me, then you would, I promise, also understand the reasons for my behavior. It all started on that cold November day. That was when I was given the case of the fugitive suspect, Loth Nolder, a man whose intelligence I greatly admired. He had returned after five years of traveling to bizarre locations and had become the primary murder suspect in the first case he took on. It was Loth Nolder who left Wellsmouth those five years ago, but was he the same man who returned? That's the question. This I will leave to the judgment of the readers of these notes. They tell me that I've been here in the Wellsmouth Mental Institution for two weeks now. Is it really that long? I cannot say. I do not remember the first eight days. The doctors tell me I am making progress. I think they are lying. It takes me longer every day to remember where I am, even who I am, after I wake up from the dreams. That is why it is essential to keep these notes as I struggle to convince myself that I am really mad. Because before the night that I was found, I looked into the deepest wells of madness more than any man alive. Yes, I am definitely mad. I must be. Because everything I have seen, I have seen through the eyes of insanity's omnipresent soul. Edgy. So are we in the game now, or... Oh! We're, um, we're in a hallway, and, uh... Oh, God, bug! I... I can't move. Wait a minute. I can't open this door. There's no handle on it. There's no handle to open this door. Oh. Uh, oh, I guess it's, uh, like a point and click. There's no handle to open this door. Yes, yes, we know. Ooh, what's this? Emptiness. I feel like there is something in the darkness and I'm being pulled towards it. Oh, nothing? I, uh... Okay. I, uh... Alright, um... Can I examine you? Guess not. Bug. What does this mean? Who drew all of this graffiti? The lock is broken, I can't open it. Well, I guess through reason of deduction I am going here. Ooh. 
Ooh, pretty. What a beautiful room. It reminds me of somewhere. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, no. This, this. It's locked? Oh, boy. I don't like where this is going. The fuck what? Oh. Another nightmare. What's going on with these dreams I've been having lately? So vivid. Almost as if they were real. Yo, uh, answer the damn phone, chief. I better hurry or I'll be late for work. I thought I was in an insane asylum. One of the paintings by young and infamous painter was... Last year he died of a tragic car accident. Let me read this first! The right future ahead of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phone. Shut up. Phone. Right clicks the master to toggle inventory. Uh, phone. Oh. Right click cell phone on inventory. Hello. Yes, Arthur. At last. Where were you? I've been trying to contact you for hours. What's the problem, Arthur? Loth Nolda escaped from the hospital last night. I've been calling you for hours with the news. Strange. I never heard the phone. Check your answering machine. I left several messages. Anyway, what happened with Loth? No one knows. It's like he just vanished out of the place overnight. Okay. I'm on my way in now. Howard, are you feeling all right? <sighs> just a little tired, Arthur. I must have overslept last night. Nothing to worry about. Okay. I'll see you soon. Okay. Um... To read clues, click Howard's mind button on the inventory, then, uh, God damn it, the Steam stuff is blocking it. I can't. Uh, press the inventory panel, then click on the clue to read. To read clues, click Howard's mind. Oh, what about this? Oh. Hey, it works. No. A little more upbeat, but nah. Nah. Just, just nah. What about you? How does this, uh... No new messages. What? Huh, that's odd. Didn't Arthur say that he left messages for me? I better call and ask about this. Okay. Um. Um. Arthur. Arthur, it's me again. Sorry, I think I might have missed a few things earlier. Okay, Howard. What do you want to know? You called me, so why didn't you leave a message on my machine? You called me? So why didn't you leave a message on my machine? What do you mean? I left plenty of messages. You didn't get them? I don't know, Arthur. I think this old machine is broken. Hmm. Never mind. We'll talk about it when we get to the office. Never mind. We'll talk about it when I get to the office. See ya. Alright, goodbye. Um. Ooh, let's examine. Day one, the beginning. November 5th, 2011. Oh, this is from a while ago. Um. Can I touch the clock? Touchity touch the clock. Guess not. Over here! With the naked lady painting. I nightmare. Just an adhesive strip. Drop a nightmare or ceases to slip. 
the painting always reminds me of that poem. Okay, cool. Weird flux, but okay. Ubaya, one of my favorite books about poetry. Okay. Nice picture of a tree. What about you, lamp? Give me all of your secrets. Time to... Wait, where the hell is this? Is this in my house, or...? Let's see, we've got a... Oh, we've got a key. I can't pick up the coins, so fine, just... No, no, run. Wait, I saw something. What about, um, hold, let's go this way. Let's see what's in this room. Okay, I can't go in that room, fine. Ah, the bathroom. I need to take a shit. Wait, I saw something. At least I thought I did. Oh god, I actually did have to. Oh, there we go. Now open. Huh, nothing. What about you? No. No, nothing. Okay. Oh, this is the apartments. Hold on. Okay, I can't go back in my room. Okay, fine. Wait. Oh, this is my room. Okay. Aha, the closet! I keep my clothes and some other things in here. Nothing of interest. Come on, la man, let me see the porno collection. Oh, fine, fuck you. Where'll we'll be going then? You can't go in either. Oh no. Oh wait. Yeah, this is the room where the guy died. Or at least so I thought. Ooh, cutscene time. Has been mine since I was promoted to police detective. Oh, Wellsmouth. Never much happening here. Just run of the mill cases and paperwork to catch up on. That's my normal working day. But not with this case. I've got to admit, it's been good to be dealing with something a little out of the ordinary for once. I agree. We can all always benefit from a little strange now and then. What's over here? Got computer... PAPERWORK! Clockfield, single, married, widow, no daughter, divorce, single. 1976, Portside Wellsworth. Died on the October th day of 21st, 2011. It's about blah blah blah. One of our WW company, Northwood Forest. Unusual residence. Uh, cause of death. Death occurred. Suffocation. No breathing. Can't remember the lyrics because I got a bad feeling. That's right. If you subscribe right now, I will never do that again. These are investigation pictures taken at Lothnolder's office. There was nothing there when we first searched the place. I have examined the place several times since then, but couldn't find any clues. That office is the only property Nolder owns. 
He even sold his house to help pay for his strange travels around the world. So why didn't he sell his office as well? I think I'd better take these pictures with me. Maybe there's something here we're not seeing. Mmm, indubitably. Alright, now let's look at these pictures. We've got... Hey, what's this? Examine screen. Howard's mind! Arthur told me that Lothan Older, who was the main murder suspect in the Clockfield case, escaped from the hospital last night. He's very important to me because I admire... Hmm, no messages. How bizarre. Do I just drop it in here, or...? Left click on the arrow icons. Huh, the only problem is it's too friggin' small. No, hold on. Let's look at this picture now. Oh, wait, no, not that one. That one, um... Got that guy. What? No, don't, don't use picture. Oh, God, this is a little difficult. Okay. Nothing behind this picture. Nothing behind you either. Now a key. No. What can you? This is a lawnmower key. Yeah, to a riding lawnmower. I know that. Oh, we can zoom in. Just a little itty bitty closer. Hmm. Got the phone. Quite bizarre indeed. Turn you back around. And what else here? No, nothing of interest. Let's go outside and see what's about in the police station. Lothanolda's office, my house, uh... Oh! Let's go to Lothanolda's office! Surely he's got something of interest there! An ooh cutscene of the car going that way instead! I gotta admit, they did do a bit of a good job with cutscenes. Even for a game in 2011. Lothanolda's office, nothing was found during the police investigation, because every record had been strangely effaced. The office has been a hush expectant air, as though it is hiding secrets has been waiting five years for Lothanolder's return. And where in his office? There wasn't this much mess the last time I was here. It's been sealed for police investigation, but someone's been in here. Who was it? And why? There is nothing important here. It's almost empty. It was Lothnolder! He knows something is here. Calendar is five years old. This must be just pride of the sudden decision to travel ahead. He visited some African and Ocean countries and... Oh my god, it's super loud! The onlooker sees all? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh! Brain! Tell me, brain. Calendar. A five-year-old calendar has remained untouched until another one's just known that he visited some African and Oceanian countries. Hint. Howard has pictures of the first police investigation. Comparing the pictures with the current condition may give him a clue. Oh, I see. I see. Aha, yes. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. No. Hmm. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. Hold on. The coat rack is still there. 
The music is fucking loud as hell. Hold on. Fucking loud ass music. Ding. Now, let's see. Some retard is on a motorcycle outside while I'm doing a case. The line is dead. Tell me about yourself. Earthquake hits Brangston just after 3 a.m. An earthquake of magnitude 6.1. Whoa. 18 miles northwest of Wellsworth. San Quentin was recently the coal mine that belongs to the Big Mole Mining Corp in the town was San Considered the most mysterious and finding of recent years. The room cover figures relief so this is possibly part of a prehistoric underground religion of settlement. Operation of the mine was stopped immediately until a complete Oh, so someone found an ancient civilization and then on the same day a friggin' earthquake happened. Of dastardly catastrophic wait a minute. Hmm, nothing seems out of the ordinary. Indeed. Hey, what's this? Oh, reset view. Oh, okay. That's cool. Still got his books, his fancy, fancy little books. This way. A train is passing by. This room was used for storing registers. Oh, come on, let me... Although it looks like it has been emptied some time ago. Then we should go in. Or you won't let me. Okay, cool. The style of these paintings is not typical for the display of your average office. What about you, Lamp? What about you? Anyone? Anyone here got any good ideas for me? Oh! Open Sesame! Wellsmoth, Myths and Legends of an Ancient Town. This work. The book is about folk myths and Wellsworth. Vaguely remember my grandfather telling me some of them. Lather's Curse Preface. Uh. And Lather's Curse. Small hush looking hostile folk. For a long time, lived in some of the plateau of the Norwood Mountains. Disgusting. Just appearance, everyone tried to be uncomfortable and lie, though, for so we driven out of the plateau. Uh, Anything else in here? Ah, paperworks. This seems to be a list of some symbols. I have no idea what they are used for. I believe it's for decoding. How bizarre. Hey, what's this? A needle, eh? A letter opener. Hmm, very sharp, somewhat rusty. Hmm, look at it twirl as it cuts my face into pieces. Let's see what my brain has to say. Hint. How would the picture of the first police company the interviews with the current condition may give him a clue? Okay. Okay, I get I get that. I get that. Okay, okay. How come? There's nothing to think about. Uh, 
Okay, let's look at this over again. The desk. Hmm, nothing seems out of the ordinary. Hmm. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Okay, what about this one? Hmm. There's something different about this picture. Hmm. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, so I think I figured out that we have to go around here. Then come back around the desk. Let's try to figure out what is different about this. Something different about this picture. Maybe a lamp, a picture, books. Perhaps it is the books. Bookity book, book, book. Storm registers. Oh, uh, can I can I open the freaking door? Her dear, that's what I remember. I came here to investigate, but no, I'm just gonna stay out of that room. Wait, hold on. Aha! That painting was tilted. Someone moved this painting. The scene has been sealed by the police. Who could have gotten in here? Let's see the back of it. Um, nothing. There seems to be something in it. Aha! I'm a genius! An envelope I found in the painting is frame. I think it was put there after the police investigation. Alright, Brain, what do you have to say? Try to combine it with a shop object. Oh! Like the letter opener with the... No. How do I combine it? Okay, I didn't. I think it was put there after police investigation. I... I will cut everyone. Okay, I am a little dumb, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, come on! Well, this is Boney McBonerton here, with the first episode of Darkness Within, a pursuit of some guy with a crappy name. Have a good day now, and goodbye.